Hi everyone, we are into the fifth month of the year which is May and now what does May hold for you since the retrogrades have already started from the last month and we are well midst into it. So many of us could be experiencing many emotions within us and how we are going to re-strategize, recalibrate or restructure our life whether it's personal or professional is what we are I'm going to be guiding you all. The month of May 2019 for you Pisces, well uh, it says that if you start this month off in the teeniest, tiniest bit of a funk, don't let it get you down. Instead listen to yourself, is your psyche sending you some signals that you've been too stressed out? Instead of pushing through, you should just back off. Take some time out for yourself. Bring a good book and just hang out on the lounge chairs all afternoon or just take a nap. Definitely cancel any plans that sound stressful. You will be back in shape and eager to socialize and network in no time as long as you take good care of yourself now. You may need to restructure a partnership if it isn't working for you. Just calmly bring up your concerns and find a better solution. A well-placed ally gets you a plum position that you had applied for. Um, and in return, don't forget to say thank you. Wonderful days to reinvigorate all of your passions by the end of the month. You, but you need to sort out your mind first. So in regards to the love and relationship, this month suggests that if you feel like you are in no condition to make any emotional decisions, then don't. Instead, give yourself a break. Go, to, go for a yoga, go for a swim, go for a long walk, get some sleep, read a really, really, really good book. You will be feeling a lot better and way more ready to embrace life by the end of this month. Get serious about stopping old emotional habits like self-sabotaging, being harsh on yourself or telling yourself that you aren't that great or doubting your own personality. Get out of these defeating things. You need to be self-motivated. Your creativity will help you understand your feelings if you let it. So delve into your private hobbies or passions of life. In regards to your career, if you're feeling unmotivated at work, take a break. Go for a walk around the block. If you can, take the afternoon off. Soak up some rays, get some vitamin D or head to the local gym for a good sweat. A good detox diet helps you get rid of your body uh, toxins and physically and emotionally you will start rebuilding the energies. Letting it all go really changes where you are at. Wonderful. Why not ask an expert for some advice on how to stay healthy? After all, if you're operating at full energy, you'll be able to work so much better and so much productive than if you're just barely managing things. So it's important to confront any problems that might be rising in a partnership. You can't just let this simmer. A coup makes you feel like you're really getting somewhere. It's wonderful to reach the goals that you set for yourself. Tap into your passion on the end, uh, on, and your work will absolutely reflect that. So when you're passionate and delving your hobby, it's like saying, work hard and play harder. Don't be surprised if you see that you have a whole new slew of professional admirers. So pamper yourself. You really need to take care of yourself. So charity begins at home. If you love yourself, you will automatically see others loving you. In regards to your health and fitness, well, this month might well get off to a bumpy start. You will feel moody, cranky and stiff. You'll be tired and you won't know the reasons why. Should you just down a couple of espressos and hope for the best? My suggestion is probably not. A better plan is to be going and strip your to-do list to its absolutely basics. Get them done and give yourself a break. You need to rest, relax and recharge your batteries. Don't forget to get some sleep and reading a good a book might be the best thing you can do for your health right now. You'll be feeling a 
whole lot per year and seriously sometimes doing nothing is the best solution. So stick to your workout routine and you will notice that you are getting stronger by the day. Keep eating right to sustain your energy. If you are feeling any kind of niggling pain then it's time that you take notice of it and nip it in the bud because a stitch in time always saves nine. Now uh, for your best dates and for your uh, stressful dates or for your romantic dates or career or finances days as usual you will have to get into my website and another thing which is very important it's of paramount importance to get your natal chart and always keep it as your personal bible because your natal chart your birth analysis actually helps you to realize what are the positives and negatives in you and then when you have your yearly charts or even when you coordinate it with these um, uh, predictions or with these forecasts that I speak about month to month you can actually calibrate it or you can structure it in accordance to what you feel within your site and then make your present a very powerful tool so that your future can be carved. So for this don't forget your analysis don't forget to get your natal charts made and of course utilize the dates given to the maximum advantage for you.